I think it's probably uh, a well-accepted idea at this point that even for red wines, having enough acidity allows a wine to have frame. You know, people often say structure, which I suppose that's true as well. But for me, somehow the flavors, the fruit of the wine, just like the picture, just like a picture, needs to be framed well for the wine to feel to feel um, uh, precise on the palate. And so cold nights are certainly critical for that. But the other thing that is so important, especially in warm regions, is that cold nights extend the growing season. If you just had warm days and warm nights, warm days and warm nights, right, you could get ripe so quickly, the growing season would be truncated, it would be made small, and, and then making a complex wine would be next to impossible. Because complexity, as it happens, for a grape to develop nuance, requires an incrementally slow march to ripeness. It doesn't matter, uh, I mean, you can end up anywhere, but the longer it takes to get there, the better. Long growing seasons, especially long growing seasons with huge amounts of luminosity, as opposed to heat per se, are fantastic. That's how these wines get to some measure of complexity, by virtue of a long growing season, which would only be possible with cold nights.